on YouTube. Welcome back to another. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to another video today. As you can see by the title, yes, we are playing the newest game I got today. Ladies and gentlemen, we are playing Planet Zoo. And you guys are probably wondering, Zach, what is Planet Zoo? Well, basically, it's Jurassic World Evolution and Planet Coaster, except instead of dinosaurs, it's regular, like, wild animals. And, and, and instead of roller coasters, there's animals as well. But there's, like, enclosures. I'll just show you guys. I'll just, you know, I'll just show you when we get in there. I'll just show you when we get in there. So anyway, guys, I hope everybody's having a great Saturday. We have, I've, literally, I've been literally trying to learn how to do this for, like, two hours. Learning how to, like, put everything down, having animals for crying out loud, to, to like, put water down. Here's that. Like, literally everything. It took me so long. But now we are finally here in Planet Zoo. If you guys want to, and by the way, I'm making, a, I'm make, I made a couple of playlists for this. And there's like a career, there's a franchise challenge, but today, we are playing the sandbox. And I'm going to continue my original Planet Park and show you guys everything that I made so far. Have you hear that? That's my cat. <laughs> so anyway, guys, I hope everybody's excited for this episode. Don't worry, guys. There's gonna be plenty more to come. If you guys want me to start with a new one, just hit the like button. Okay, no, I'm serious. Okay, if you guys really want me to do like the original one, like like starting from square one, just leave it in the comments. Oh my god, it's taking this is actually taking a long time. So that's kind of like again, like planet. Oh, oh that's achievement trainer. I don't even know what that is, but cool, cool. So as you can see right off the bat, we have a zebra. And don't ask, don't ask me why. But I actually, for, for some strange reason, brought got a zebra first. But the zebra is not the only thing that we have. Or else there wouldn't be 1,600 people. <laughs> we have a bunch more to come. Let me just tell you guys one thing. Let me just tell you one thing. The career mode thingy is not the case. I'll just tell you that right off the bat. And the reason why I don't have anything with like power, any like power stations, if you guys know what I mean, because if you go to settings and you go to game. Oh, wait, one second. And you go to economic settings. Also, go to like other stuff. And you go to here. Power everything. Everything that requires power will be powered for free. You want to check that as well, guys. As well as everything else. Okay, cool. Okay. So that's basically how you do it. We have a bunch, we have a bunch of animals in here. Mostly these are like, I guess you say herbivores. But 
you guys get what I'm saying. So anyway, okay, guys, that's my cat who is not doing what she's supposed to, and I am not gonna go. So if we go to the animal market, we can literally make anything. The first thing that I pretty much made was a was an elephant. Don't ask me why, but I'm making another one. I wish there was a way I could just make like seven. So then you press send to zoo. This is how you make animals. And then you also have to put in a gate. If you don't put in that gate, it's not gonna work. So if I wanna put it there, let's say so now it's gonna be scheduled. And I wanna make more. But I wanna make so much more. Because we have a bunch of a ton of room. We can. Oh, wait. I didn't get to show you the rest of the park. No, no. I'm going to fast. I'm going to fast. Uh, send to zoo. Bang. And that could be it for now. Now, here is the carnivore pretty much exhibit. Oh, God. We got a couple of lions in here, like three or four. We also have some water for them, but no food. For some strange reason, the guys won't make food. And this, I want to just delete. I literally just want to delete this. <laughs> so I can I just delete it here, edit barrier, and... There's no way. There's no way. Wait, none. Everything. Can I just delete? Oh, this is staying here forever. <laughs> Anyway, this is the, if I can find him, the honors exhibit. And we got an elephant that came in. Of the seal, I'm sorry, not what I, I don't even know what I just said. Camera, and I can actually see it. The honor. I might one day save the world. <laughs> I've literally been wanting this game for one day and it worked. I got it. <laughs> but anyway, guys, if you guys are seriously like wanting this game, I'm literally going to rate this game like 9 out of 10. This game is so much fun. If you're into animals and you're into making parks and you like unlimited money, this is the game for you. But if you like dinosaurs, just get Jurassic World Evolution. <laughs> and for some strange reason, no one can view my lion's exhibit. It has right next to that. That's it. Pants. I just want to see something quick. Can I literally just go like that? And then like Oh light like the need to turn down. And I make it to one. So now if I go up. Fire on button. Never mind, let's do it here.
Is there any way I can uh, angle snap? Yeah. Then they could see this exhibit. <laughs> now we lower it. No, not like, like that. And now let me make it to the stairs there. All the way to there. So you know, now you guys can see it. Wait, right, let me connect it to the side too. You make this path bigger or else it'll take ages. Bang and Yes, that can view things. Yes, and people are coming up. Who are these people, though? Okay. It's way too hot here for that. Oh, yeah, whatever. What, what a good looking place. Oh, thank you. You know, it's my specialty. It's my superpower. I'm gonna make everything glass. So I just need to go to boop and glass. Glass. There we go, glass. Yeah, now you can see everything. But let me also make this a little taller. I don't want anyone jumping out. Like, oh my god. The. The. The, the freaking lions decide to keep jumping these fences. So I just said, whatever. You're gone. Go into the next exit. And then I found a. How to erase the enclosures. And it's pretty easy if you okay. If you have patience, it's really easy. You just go like you just click on it. Go to you can't even tell it's a oh brother. Oh brother Who cares? So now you go, okay, back up, back up, back up, you go to, you click that, so then it highlights everything. And then, okay, or whatever, then it'll work for now, because I think mine's just a little too tall. And then you go to this, and you just raise it up as high as you would like. And for some strange reason, it took me 45 full minutes to realize how to do it. So I just gave up and just started making these things. Which reminds me, I also really like that this game allows you to make so many different things to make the scenery look nice. Yay! Aquatic nature scene. Oh, I need this. What is it? Oh, you know what I need? I need to go back to the nature. 
so I can make some trees. Who doesn't like a little bit of trees? Black spruce tree. Let's decorate this place. It's decorated and it looks nice. I'm gonna make it so this looks like good. Oh, no, don't go to here. Don't go over there. Stay here and have fun. And let's get some of these skinny trees. You guys need something to eat from, don't you? How are these guys doing? That I'm recording. Sorry guys. And anyway, we got whatever the giraffe's name is. No clue how to pronounce it, but we got one. I'm going to put this out of sight, out of mind. And we got Donaka, who is a male giraffe. Wow, this is the fifth year this is open. That's crazy. And what the hell is that? Why the hell is Oh my god. Anyway, let's make some more animals. I really want to make something that I haven't made in this park yet. Everybody guys are probably saying, Zach, why did you not make it this park? These things. The... West African lions. <laughs> you know, no clue what ma what it matters, or if it matters not what they're called. Let's make some more things. Let's make some more of them. We got whatever that name is. A pet. There's no way in hell it's a pet. Anyway, we'll add two of those. I think they might save this world for like like special episode purposes. Maybe. This is just gonna stand there all nice and flubbery. Let's make this the this animal breeding program. Does that mean these guys are gonna actually like, breed? Uh, we need more of these. Thank you very very much, sir. Can you imagine that before, I didn't even know how to make, like, how to, like, put these in enclosures. I didn't know you needed to put a gate. <laughs> so I kept saying obstructed, and I kept putting it <laughs> in the trade center, and then ended up selling it because I gave up with it. But, I'm going to save this and make a, a new one. A brand new one, so for the people who are like, who are like, oh no, I don't know how to do this, they all know. Yes, yes, I want to overwrite it. So, if you're like very new to this game, and you have like no clue like where to get started in Sandbox, 
This is for sandbox purposes only. You come to the right place. So basically, how you do it is first you like it tells you like what you need to put down. I'll show you guys what to put down because some stuff is very unnecessary and it will be so confusing. But first tip before like diving into sandbox, first tip: animals to start out can wait. They can wait for like like a couple or so minutes. They can wait. And I recommend choosing grassland and North America or whatever wherever you live. Difficulty: If you are just starting this game, go with easy. And then zoo name. You can make it whatever you can make the zoo name whatever you want. I'll call it YouTube land. And you press create zoo, of course. So it's gonna automatically bring you into whatever like whatever you set it to go to. I just recommend going with North America because it's like all grassland and it's a big space. So here, this is the perfect example. So you just start out in a brand new island. You got just a bunch of grassland, you got nothing. Like literally nothing. You have no guests, you have you would start with unlimited money of course. So the first thing I would do to start is actually first thing I would do to start is do the settings tip that I showed you. So let's do that. So game Oh, is it already on that? Animal settings. Oh yeah, you don't want any fights. We don't want any illnesses. We don't want any... The deaths. You don't want any deaths. You don't want animal welfare. And you don't want that. Aging. Oh no, you don't want to disable that. That means they can breed. Basically. Uh, guest settings. This is where it gets fun. Maximum guests. It starts you at 2,000. You want to make that number to 10,000. Maximize their happiness, education, and everything. You want to increase all of this stuff. And economic setting. You want to disable unlimited. No, you don't want to click that. You want to go to. Disable staff choosing to quit. Boom. Boom. Basically, you want to check. These boxes and then power everything. That's what I was talking about before. Keep all water clean. Apply. Okay. Resume. Now. 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 What I did to start off my park, and I hope you guys do this exact same thing. I pretty much just made a long running. Just like this. I did like three of them. And surprisingly it's not, this isn't coming up, but if you go to facilities. I guess, uh, staff facilities. Why isn't it coming up? Here we go. Finally. So these are the stuff that you 
need. You'll hear oh, you need a trade center. That's how you make the animals. So what I did was I double tapped X so then I could turn it. So then it automatically connect to the path built in by. You don't want to get quarantined. Do not. Need a staff room though. Quarantine is pretty much if you want to just release the animal that you pretty much just bought into the wild. Or like if it, not if it's sick, but like if it wants to like stay in one place for a while, you don't want that. Vet surgery, this is very important. Because if you don't, if your animals are sick or something, you need that. So then I just press delete. So then I don't see that message. And now we can start getting into the enclosures. So we go to barriers. The first thing I went to was, hmm. I want some, like, plant eaters, I guess you could say first. So length, you want to make this 20. So I can make a large enclosure for everyone to see. And then at the end, you can do like a whole sizing thing. Like with how tall it would be. So what I did to start was just four like that. And then make it go like that. Oh no. Oh yeah, you know what that will do. That. And I do it like four or five times. Then you want to sort of like go to like to the so then they don't just get released out right away like that then you want to make it so then it just turns right back to the beginning so that's also how you make an enclosure so then your animals don't jump and break out quote unquote So the enclosure is made. Next, you need a habitat gate. It's also very important that you make sure that it's facing that way. Next, for so then the guests can see. Oh my, woman health! You want your guests to see. So first, you want to go to terrain. Let me, let's say I want to start out with a water enclo watered enclosure. Like for like seals or something. Like some of that jazz. You go like that and lower it all the way. Actually, you know what? Let's not start out with that. We'll just do it like that, and then we'll put water in it. So then basically how you do water is you do that, and then you put it to the height that you want it to be. Just say valid, and boom. You got water. And I can drink all that jazz, and now you want to go to nature. And decorate every single... And some of this stuff might be in a DLC, like, because I bought one of the DLCs to start out this game. It was the aquatic sort of DLC. Hopefully soon they will have that in Jurassic World Evolution, and I'll probably go back to playing that. But anyway, let's spice up this place. Put some nice little trees, like that. Maybe I'll put like some ferns. There we go, like that. We'll get some of these. And 
let's just I really just want to get some more trees but trees is for breeze wow tree is pretty big oh boy yep the uh, that's gonna overcrowd your place by a lot let's just say that so three is good so that's a pretty good story so we got your first enclosure all ready so now let's change the height of this so i'll go edit barrier and by the way you want to do it if you're doing like let's say you just go carnivore straight away let go to electric this is how you do carnivore and then you want to raise this the hell up. Or else they will break out. So that's gonna be the carnivores exhibit. And by the way, they could jump real high. So I actually make this a lot taller. Make it because they could jump really high, which is not good. Obviously, if you want to keep your guests safe, it's not a good thing. <laughs> so anyway, what's what's going on? Hello? There we go. No, all make it so it's all. Here we go. And then you want to go to raise, make it higher. And higher. Twenty one meters. You want to do it so it's twenty one meters high. These guys can jump. These guys can really jump. Oh, we need a keeper. So, uh, got it. <laughs> And something else. There we go. Why is it going so slow like that now? Build in by now. Let's start out with the first animal. So you go animal, or you go animal trending, you go animal market. And the first animal I would recommend choosing is the if you're gonna want to go like carnivore straight away. I would recommend going with a to get to it a tiger. That's what I would recommend going to straight away. If you're going carnivore all the way. Okay, no clue what that was. But anyway, you wanna put the tiger down. And then if you want more carnivores. I would then recommend going to a lion. So that's pretty much how you make like the enclosure and how to make the animals. And then eventually, oh wait, this is not hooked up to the path. That's what, that's a bit of a problem. That's a very bit, big bit of a problem.
next or not fit zombies. So next you can't make the animals without the people, the staff. So you go to staff and you go to the you basically want to put at least one of each. I like putting like like three or four maybe five of each depending on how much there is to do with the island depending on how many things you want to have in the island so next zookeeper this guy is the most important if you don't have a zookeeper you cannot make any animals so you just go like that I just add three next you want to make a mechanic so then you see if everything is running the fences are all good everything's going good everything's awesome in the park so I got that next you want to put in I would put in like a cup, like a cup of securities, just in case like someone's gonna like pick pocket or something. Uh, a vendor. No clue what these guys, these people do, but I just put, in, I just slap in a couple, just in case they're important. Next, once, once of course. Okay, kick me out. Great. So next is a veterinarian. You need this. And then the next thing you need definitely not that. So that's it. That's all you really need for staff wise. And the tiger is in the enclosure. And the lion, the lion likes the enclosure, and they're tight, they're both stuck together. <laughs> That's the perfect enclosure, for some reason everyone is sad. Why isn't anyone happy? You got two big carnivore thingies right. so anyway next tip is to just pretty much just do everything possible if you like let's say put in a guest gate that would be like what the heck Oh, what am I doing? Uh, what am I doing? What is life? What is life? Hey, so we got that carnivore down. We got the carnivore exhibit down. Now everybody's trying to starting to have some fun. <clears throat> anyway, next. Oh no, I'm going too fast. Oh no. Uh, next, you want to go to barriers and make some more enclosures. Next enclosure, I recommend doing is actually not there it is in habitat and you may never mind uh i think it's in construction now i'm not even sure now but um, oh my god where is it It should be in habitat. I'm pretty sure it should be in habitat. I don't know where else it would be. And you go. To... Yeah, this. Got it. Nailed it. I am a genius. I am a genius. This is basically the aquatic habitat in which you want to make taller.
Okay, never mind, that's not gonna work. So anyway, you put it like that. Never mind, you need the DLC for that. You need this. There we go. And then you can make like the water creatures. If you go to terrain, you get to water, you can do rough water or calm water. I recommend doing calm just in case everything so and everything stays safe. So then you do that. And there's water. There's a water in exhibit. But the fun part about the water exhibit is this. You can go into the water. Yep, you can go into the watered exhibit. So I'm actually going to put it send so god send some signals or stuff and stuff. We'd like to go in here because I know they would. <laughs> Maybe a couple otters? I have no clue what I might actually put in here. But all I know is that I'm definitely putting in something big in here. A crocodile! Why not? Saltwater crocodile. Adopt. Send it to zoo. And put it in there. So when it's ready, it will go in there. Let's adopt another one. And send this one into the zoo. Delivery scheduled. And that's it. That's all you really need so far. But you also really need this. So then you go to call. Call. But before you do that, there's something very important you need to know. Oh god. So if you go to zoo, and you go to... You need to, you need to create a work zone. So basically, you need to make sure that the staff go in here. Need to make sure they go in there. And then after that, you need to go to work zone or Oh wait, no oh my god, I'm doing the wrong thing. There we go, zookeepers. You, work zone one. 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 All you have to do. And then you can have the fun. Watch the crocodiles go in. I'm pretty sure the crocodiles are in now. Alright. Don't you dare tell me they didn't bring it in yet. They didn't, they didn't get the crocodiles yet. That's kind of sad. What is above me that I can't get out? Absolutely nothing. So. Get out. Why aren't the crocodiles being delivered? So basically that's how you pretty much just, what's it called? Wait, I think I know why. Is there a gate? One second. Habitat gate. Oh, 
Oh great, obstructed by water volume. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Back. Paths. There we go. And now you need to go down, 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 down. Yes! It worked! Eureka! Now I should be delivering them. So our next tip, because some people like the herbivore thingies, you would most likely want to use the red brick thingy. I'm sorry, this is outside the buildable area. Silly me. Still, this is a ton of space. I want to see how someone would call this small. So. Since I've been with the herbivores before, you need to you need to know something. they need a ton of space, especially the elephants. Oh, I think one more. I'll go like that. Going back. Okay. Well, first you wanna. Oh yes, they delivered the crocodiles. A beauty. Move. Into there. Injured? Wait, what? How the injured? Call a vet. Call a vet. Is this one injured? Okay, good. Wow, someone got injured. That's crazy. This guy's 36 years old. Okay, that's crazy.
So anyway, after you're done making that, you need to, once again, what is my enclosure? How bad it is. That's a pretty big enclosure, but it, that's all you really need. But again, raise your enclosures. Don't raise your enclosures. Things might break out. So I think that's a pretty, I think that's a pretty sizable size. And then you can make it so guests can see them. Yes. Go like that. And like that. And then you go you 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 Oh god, wrong way. There you go, now they can say. Now you they can see and then they can just go all the way back down. So let's make them com let's make them as comfortable as they can be. Shall we? So let's put in a couple of antelope. Why not? Some antelope can't help. Send to zoo. Oh, wait. I forgot. Dang it. I forgot again, didn't I? I did. This is the only downside of this. You need to put gates everywhere in the enclosures. There we go. Done! Bada bing bada boom! And no, I do not want it to be this dark. So! Make it 10.14 a.m. So I can at least see. So next, you want to put animals. And you want to go to Animal Market. And you want to go down to the antelope. You know, funny story, I actually saw an antelope running wild. It was pretty cool. Not gonna lie. So I'll just send it to the zoo. Send it to. Send it to the zoo zoo zoo. I don't know what any of this stuff is. Pretty sure that's a plant eater. So let's put it in.
So yeah, that's pretty much how to get started in the game. So anyway guys, I hope everyone enjoyed this pretty lengthy episode. <laughs> Not gonna lie. Let me just do a new save file. So basically, that's how you get started in Planet Coast. So if you guys enjoyed this first episode of Planet Coaster, or not Planet of Planet Zoo. If I said Planet Coaster so many times, I'm sorry guys. I mean, this is my, this is my first day playing it. So, whatever. If you guys enjoyed, leave a like, hit the subscribe button. See you guys. In the next one. After I write this review up, I'll end it. Oh no, I didn't. I received it for free. So, anyway, guys, if you enjoyed, leave a like, hit the subscribe button.